Let's have a go at this transformations question. So this is all about combining transformations and what happens if you do two together, what you know, what would be the, a single transformation that could give me um, the same result. So let's use the grid. Um, I think it's possible to do A without the grid if you understand the idea of uh, translations, but let's just go for it. So if I want to do a translation minus seven, two, I'm going to pick this top left point and I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. No, I'm going seven to the left because it's minus seven. And then one, two, and that goes up. So it ends up here. And then if I want to do three and minus five, then I would go three in the x direction, one, two, three, to here, and then down five, one, two, three, four, five. Um, and that will be just the top left points. I could then, I could, you know, I could do the same with the other ones, and I'd end up with a triangle that's roughly here. And I can figure out then what would actually be the uh, result, the ultimate transformation, and it would again be a translation. And I can see that actually if I take this top left point again, it'd be one, two, three, four to the left, and one, two, three down. So it'd be minus four, minus three. So a translation. of minus four, minus three. And actually, that's what would happen if I added these two vectors together. If I did minus seven, two, plus three, minus five, that is a way of actually applying both of these transformations. And I would add the tops, that would give me minus four, I'd add the bottoms, that would give me minus three. So I could have done this without the grid, but you know, I've done it with the grid here, all good. Okay, second one, I think this is really tough without the grid, so let's, let's use it. A reflection in the line y equals x followed by a rotation of 90 degrees clockwise around zero, zero. Now, personally, I cannot visualize where that's going to end up, so I'm going to use the grid. First thing I'm going to do is draw the line y equals x, and that is the line that's perfectly diagonal all along it. Y is equal to x, 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, and so on. And what I then get is um, I do a reflection. So I basically take each point and I'm going to go um, into the line uh, perpendicular and then go the same distance. So that point's going to go there, that point's going to stay the same, and this one is going to go one and a half, and then one and a half again. So I see the corners of my triangle. Now, here's one that I did earlier that's where it's going to end up. Okay, that's that's the first bit. And then what? A rotation of 90 degrees clockwise about zero, zero. So for this, you would use tracing paper and you would um, you'd put your tracing paper over this triangle and draw it and then put your pencil on zero, zero. Use that as a pivot point, the basically the center of rotation. And then we're going to go 90 degrees clockwise. Sometimes you say, I put an up arrow on the tracing paper and then wait until it's pointing right. Uh, I'm not going to do that here, but you, you can do that. Um, but let's go for it. So I'm going to rotate it. Okay, rotating it clockwise about zero, zero. That is what I'm doing here. You've got to trust me. And it ends up there pretty, pretty much. Okay, and at this point, the arrow would be facing to the right if I had done that. So that is the final result question is what single transformation then would get me from here this red triangle to now my final result this green triangle it's not a translation um, it's actually not going to be a rotation that wouldn't work it's going to be a reflection and you can sort of see you know it's it's uh, reflected in a line going um, along roughly here but that's not quite right because it's got to be the same distance away so if we count down to the points where I've gone I've gone four so my center my um, my reflective line is going to be halfway in between it's actually going to be this line going horizontally across like so it's that line there and that is either the x-axis or y equals zero you can probably easier to remember the x-axis but you do also need to be uh, able to you know, use the line y equals one, y equals two, y equals zero, and so on. So 
I don't know, uh, it doesn't really matter which one you go with, but basically it's going to be a reflection. In, I'll go with the x axis in this case. Okay, nice question, nice answers. Good, good, good.